Let's dig more into the controversy surrounding the refurbishment of the new parliament. Uh, minority leader Osechi Mensabunsu has defended the decision of parliament to purchase furniture from China to furnish the chamber. The leader says the timing was too short and local manufacturers could not have met the deadline. Meanwhile, um, a local contractor he said to me that, well, uh, admittedly, he will require, if it was him, he will require about. Uh, uh, a period between one and a half years and two years to do the job to the satisfaction of parliament. Could parliament be that's put on hold for one and a half years, two years, for a local contractor to do that? I think that was the, the difficulty. Meanwhile, member of parliament for Anyansu Otum, Shelley Ayokobochi, a day after the new chamber was unveiled, had the roller on her new chair removed. The parts, <laughs> I saw the part on the floor, so I didn't sit down. The part was on, lying on the floor, so it sort of made the chair lopsided. I, I don't want to pass any judgment on anything from China, but all I can say is that... So if in the process of tightening knots and screws, uh, maybe some were not too tight, and because of that they're falling apart, uh, there are things that could be remedied. Other members questioned the quality of the imported furniture. We have been uh, talking against the durability of that chair. Less than 24 hours. Less than 24 hours. It's, so that is evidence. It's not like it's a screw that has been moved out of it. Oh, thing, you really won't know what you can understand. I, would, I wouldn't want to add that the inferior goods. Uh, President, I hope that's not